All right, so I uh, used up my last can of spray foam. I used it in this area that I needed to fill so that I can plaster cloth it. I think I have two boxes of plaster cloth left, so I put down seven four inch boxes. I did this area too, because it was important. This area, I um, need to keep a, a ditch, but strategically raise it up as well so that a bridge can a road bridge can go across to it so that's the that's where that's at i got paint down to this level i am going to need some more paint of certain colors and uh <clears throat> it'll be black inside the tunnel and i can start working on the airstrip and all the lights on the airstrip and and the lights on the ufos that'll be kind of next i uh I've already aborted uh, the way I was gonna light this. So I've got these holes drilled. That's fine, I no such thing as too many of those. But uh, the $4 strips are not bright enough. They're bright enough for effects, but they're not bright enough to light it. So there's some shop lights that are on at Home Depot for $12 a tube for three feet. So I would need, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of them at least, not including this part. So I don't know which way I'm going to go exactly yet, but uh, either way, I'm going to light it properly. It, it has to be bright. I have a lot of lights on the top of the layout. And that is because I'm blind. I need to have light. Um, when you're looking at it, you're seeing the details of the layout. When you're looking at the scenery, you're seeing the details of the layout. If it's too dark, um, it's no good. I do really like the era that we're in of LEDs, which is these shop lights that have LEDs in them. They're not bulbs and they plug in into an outlet. So I don't have to get an electrician. Now I did get an electrician for this light switch and he put um, four of these octagon boxes in because at one point we were gonna do the lighting differently. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get those octagon boxes changed to outlets, square boxes and then the maze of extension cords that are running on the ceiling, which is no problem, because how I did this lighting was, I bought these four on sale, $20 each at Canadian Tire when they go on for 50% off. And then I bought three more and, and I bought them as I had money, which is the perfect way to do it. So, uh, and they all match. So, you know, kind of, Things like this won't be there anymore when these are plugged in to uh, where these octagon boxes are and everything will be run off on the top level uh, for sure off these two switches. Now that works fine for me and then the bottom level is going to have a series of power bars uh, run underneath it. Um, I'm kind of figuring out exactly what kind of extension cords I'm going to use for that, but there's going to be a power line bus, I guess, for lack of a better term, running under the bottom as well as under the bottom here and under the bottom here. And that's why you need these large holes. I could have done them ahead of time, but the reality is I didn't even know what size of holes I needed. So um, all of these temporary bus line and... Uh, phone cable for the up5s and all that will get routed to one of the holes as well so got a new little compact drill that i used and i can use it on there and when you use the real vacuum it's no problem to clean up the wood chips uh, makes quick work of it so um, in the process of doing this uh, plaster cloth and painting and good great stuffing um, i'll also be doing you know the re relocation of the bus wires and and uh, having my dream of everything run on USB as far as 
all the effects. So that's going to plan. And uh, we just need some more paint uh, and some more supplies because when you look down here, whoosh, the, the cupboards are bare. We've got, <laughs> we've got nothing left. I've got some other paints I can burn up, some latexes and that, but uh, as far as craft paint, that used to have about 16 on it, and those have been burned up, so thank God they're only a dollar and some each. Um, while I'm waiting for paint, I can hot glue this down. This loop does work now. I've had it ran for three hours. I even went upstairs to take a whiz and come back, and the train still runs. I had some derailment issues. I reworked the curve a little bit because there is a 15 inch curve on this one end so I can put that in I need probably one more pack of four inch risers to finish that but I can hot glue the majority of it and eventually work on some styrofoam and uh, risers over there so all right I am gonna go and uh, pick up a McDonald's coke as my reward and go watch uh, a film while I have this uh, scene dry. I'm really excited to show you all the military stuff I've been saving and all the CIA and uh, Air Force uh, Jeeps and you name it that's going to go on this whole wall. It's going to be awesome. So I will talk to you uh, on the next one. Thanks.